to my channel past videos I have spoke about how this year my content on my channel is gonna be really different. I love organization videos I love cleaning videos since I can remember 10 11 I've always been into like cleaning and decorating I just like to take pride in my home I feel like me being a stay-at-home mom my job is to make our house function really good really smoothly and I like for everything in my house to have a specific spot Why? to go. I hate clutter. If my house is cluttered or if things are out of place, it throws my whole day off and it makes me feel very stressed. I'm always looking for new ways to make things run smoother around here. Generally, we had a playroom. We have an extra room, which I have cleaned out to make room for when we decide to have a second baby. But that room used to be a playroom. Also have had it where the toys are in the bedroom. So we've had a legit playroom and we've also had toys in my son's bedroom. When he moved to a toddler bed, and toys was in his room it was a disaster he would not go to sleep because he was so distracted by all the things in his room that he would get up and he would play and he would destroy his room. and I would have to go in there and be like get in bed and then he would get up and he would go play again and that's when I was like no. when I made the decision to take everything out of his room except for his laundry basket his clothes hanging up in his closet his bed, his rocker, and he has shelves on the wall that has books on it. He even it. took his dresser out because during nap time, he would throw all of his clothes out on the floor. So now he cannot reach anything. He has no distractions and he can't destroy his room. There's nothing worse than going in there to pick out his clothes or to put him down at night or anything like that when I have to go in his room and I'm tripping over stuff because he's destroyed his room. Like, what am I going to do with all these toys? Because when he had a playroom, he would not play in there. I feel like kids get so overwhelmed by the things in their rooms or their playrooms and if they have a lot of toys then they just get overwhelmed and they like don't play with their toys. Since I have turned his closet into a play area. He plays with everything. Toys are his favorite thing. I used to couldn't get him to play with his toys because I think he was so overwhelmed. At Christmas I knew that he would probably be getting toys from relatives and stuff and I started cleaning out his toys. So baby toys, I packed away. I am saving for our next kid. Everything else that like he didn't play with, he has had no interest in, I don't need it. I have minimized his toys and they're very easily to pick up and very organized. It makes my life so much easier. And he is happier playing with his toys. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smoke is in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention I did I felt like our house was too small like I felt like we were outgrowing our house we live in a three bedroom two bath house. our rooms are a nice size like our house is spacious it's a decent size we just had too much stuff I used to have the mindset of I love baby things like I love toys I love all the baby things it makes the house feel I've always wanted to be a mom and have all the baby things but now I'm like I don't want none of that I don't need none of that it clutters my house up like I want the minimum and it has changed my life because having to always worry about cleaning stuff still gets dirty but it's easily tidied and it doesn't take a long time 
and if you don't have a lot of stuff then you're not constantly organizing stuff. I have this hall closet in my living room and I have stored vacuums in it. I have put coats in it, the typical things you do with a hall closet. I just opened the closet and stared at it one day and I'm like, I'm so tired of this being a catch-all closet. Like it just, it just somehow accumulates stuff and always needs to be organized like every so often. And I really just got tired of that and the toy. So I just opened it and I was like, how can I fit all of his toys in that way I can lock it off and I can have his toys control where I control what gets out what gets put up so we're not overwhelmed by tools it's been life-changing I put a cube in there and I may have a picture or a clip that I can insert I didn't have a before picture of the closet of what it looked like before I started this because I didn't originally think I was going to film across my mind but then when it worked out so well and I've been so happy with it I was like why not film this and share it with somebody else and then maybe somebody else it will spark an idea somebody else's head to make one of their closets or rooms more useful instead of junk in their house Think about if you have a closet or something in your house that accumulates junk that you could turn into a mini office a makeup vanity area a playroom there's thousands of things that you can do with the spaces in your house that don't have to be traditional things that regular people do like a coat closet or a bag i originally had this little white cube in there and it went on the floor so it took up almost all the floor space there was about this much floor space that a few toys could fit next like i would really like for us to have floor space in this closet and utilize the space so we went to home depot and we were originally going to do like wood shelves but then i just went with white because i feel like it would make it look cleaner and more spacious in there so we just got two white shelves which were like eight dollars a piece so like twenty dollars for both of them and then we got some brackets and some screws so i mean it was super cheap basically to put the toys in there they are tucked away in the closet so when he goes to bed at night i don't have to look at all of it when i go in his room to dress him i don't have a mess in his room some i felt like i was constantly cleaning toys up and the new organization with this closet and toys has made my life so much easier like, i've turned my living room into a playroom because it's just like gated off and it's totally childproof besides my fireplace is you know could be dangerous but he doesn't really go near the fireplace all right so this little mat is right outside of this closet and this closet is in our living room and then we have this hallway right here and i have his play kitchen there so it's literally like one big play area that i've made our living room in so this closet we put it where the lock is in the inside so we can literally lock the closet if we like don't want him to th bring the toys and stuff and up. he fits in this closet he can sit right here and play he loves to go in here and shut the door and like hide we have this play mat so he literally can just like bring his toys right out since we have hardwood floor and it's just a cushiony play area and i got this off amazon for like 40 bucks i think this gray shelf so this is like all of his like toy story toys and stuff like that these are the number one toys that he plays with all the time so literally we'll just bring these out in this buggy he loves to put all of them in this buggy and we'll lock the door and that's what he'll play with sometimes so we don't bring all the toys out and it's not a huge mess like after we clean up at night and he's just playing with a couple of toys before bed this puzzle didn't fit up here. I have multiple puzzles up here. This is where the puzzles go. So I sat it behind here and this is his balance board and it's just sat behind there out of the way. I have his little vacuum. He has a little snuggy blanket that's hung up in here. This is like his cars. Um, this thing is a bag, but it's also like where you can lay it out and play with the little cars. I just hung that with a command hook. I have this mirror in here so he can look and it also makes it more spacious i have to hide these cords though I haven't got around to doing that it just makes it look so much better in here with the mirror when we moved in there was an electric outlet already in here so i put a diffuser put like orange or lemon in here or like thieves to like kill germs and then it's so pretty 
in here with just the diffuser on. I got this picture from Hobby Lobby, the playroom. These shelves are what we got from Home Depot. They were like $8 a piece. The toys that I chose to put on the shelves are just like, I'm missing one of these rings. I don't know where it's at. But um, all the toys are like the wood toys or like just the pretty toys that you kind of like want to display or like this. I don't want him to like be able to get this out whenever. So I have it up on the shelf. It just makes it look organized instead of having a bunch of stuff thrown on the shelf. And then up here, I got a labeler, um, like which was like $20, and that will change your life of organization. But we have like his tools. So it's like all of his tool stuff. Then we have his trucks and cars. Then we have balls. Then we have like miscellaneous type toys. So what I do is I'll be like, okay, you want to play with your trucks and cars? And I'll get this bucket out. I'll sit it right here on the mat. And then I'll lock the door. And then he can't pull all of his toys out. So it's like controlled. And then he doesn't get overwhelmed. We pick it up. We put it back. And clean up is a breeze. This is so much better than having a like huge playroom with toys that can just accumulate. And when he gets new toys, we get rid of old toys. So we don't have a bunch of toys. He does still have other toys like in the garage. He has his bikes and his riding toys and stuff like he that. He has like a dump truck, two dump trucks under his bed. But besides that, like that's all of his toys. It made my life so much easier. So just think about in your house, do you have a space in your house that just accumulates junk and you could just get rid of that stuff or put it somewhere else and make a nice little nook area? Um, obviously, I can't just move into a bigger house right now. So I have to work with what I have. And I, if I have a problem, I fix it. I needed a space for a playroom because I don't want our kids to share rooms. So I just want to go ahead and have that other room ready for a baby to come up with a solution for a playroom. And I also didn't like how many toys he has. I've really been minimizing my house and I'm going to show y'all all the stuff that I've been getting rid of. But we don't need a ton of stuff, guys. We need to get out and live life and enjoy life. And things and material stuff honestly does not matter. And just getting rid of stuff and not having a ton of stuff that you're always picking up and you're always cleaning in your house will literally make you feel better if you're always stressed or have anxiety or something try cleaning out your space cleaning up your area getting rid of things and you will feel much better i really hope that y'all got something out of this video maybe it inspired you to change something in your house and Maybe it inspires you to get rid of some toys and organize so you don't feel like you're losing your mind with all the stuff that your kids have. One tip to leave with you is think outside of the box. Like when you're cleaning your house and organizing, think outside of the box. Like there's so much you can do with the space in your house. I have uniquely changed so much things in our house to where typical people wouldn't do, but I have done because it's at your fingertips. Do what you need to do to make your living space feel peaceful, happy, um, stress-free, and like you're in control of what's going on in your house. So anyways, I have a lot more organization, cleaning videos, and different types of things coming out. So please subscribe and stay tuned. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.